After my last video about motion graphics, I received many comments from you suggesting that I should create more videos on this topic. And since your opinion is really important to me, I've just made another one. Today I will show you how you can create a traveling the world animation, a graph animation and a jumping ball animation. I also want to take this chance to thank you all for your amazing support and all the kind words. You have been truly awesome. So let's dive in and get started. As usual, open CapCut and create a new project. Drag your background to your timeline. It can be any background that you like. In my case, I will use a black grid background to which I will apply a black noise effect. You can find a black noise effect if you go to Effects and Trending. I have it already in my favorites. You can also set the speed of the effect. Next, we have to import the earth picture and the walking person. There are two ways. You can download those from a link in the description or you can go to Canva, Elements, type earth, choose graphics and find the one you like. And for a walking person, go to Elements, type walking person, graphics, click on filter, choose animated and find the one that suits your needs. I always choose a green background so I can easily remove it in CapCut. Drag the earth to the timeline and stretch it to the whole length. Go up to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on green and drag the strength slider to 6. Go back to basic, pull it down and resize it to around 200. Then pull down the walking person and again go up to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on green and drag the strength slider to around 10. Resize it. Now highlight the earth, move playhead to the beginning, go up to basic and click on keyframe on position and size. Move playhead to the end of the walking person and write minus 450 to the rotation box. If we would put only 450, the earth would be spinning in the wrong direction. Let's play it now. I see that the earth is moving too fast. We can fix that just by dragging this keyframe further away like this. Let's move to our second animation. Go up to text, add default text and write 4 times dash. Scroll down to the character and set it to minus 2. Scroll down, uncheck uniform scale and increase the scale width. Scroll even more down, click on glow and rotate the lines so you can start building the graph. You can extend the line on your timeline. Now copy and paste that line, rotate it Make it smaller and connect it to the upper part of the first line. Continue to do so till you reach the end. Now highlight all the lines. Right click and create a compound clip. Move your playhead to the beginning, go up to mask, choose horizontal, rotate the line to minus 120 degrees, set the feather to 5 and drag it to the left so you don't see the graph anymore. Click keyframe on position, 
then move your playhead to let's say 5 or 6 second mark and drag the line to the end of our graph. And if we play this now, we have a nice animated graph. Our third animation will be a jumping ball. Like with Earth and Walking Person, you can also download this jumping ball from the link in the description. The first thing we will do, we will create a line that the ball will bounce from. So go up to text, add default text, write 4 times dash, scroll down, set the character to minus 2, click on glow and stretch it. If you need to increase the line, uncheck the uniform scale and increase the scale width. Move it to the left side and pull the jumping ball above the line. Go up to cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on green and pull the strength slider all the way to the right. Move your playhead to the spot when you see the ball bounce from the ground and move it on the line. Click keyframe on position, highlight the line and also click keyframe on position. Highlight the ball again, move playhead forward till you see the ball bounce again. Remember the Y position. Move it to the right side and type the same Y position and keyframe will be created automatically. Now highlight the line, remember the Y position, move it to the right side under the ball and adjust the Y position. Move your playhead forward again when you see ball bounce. Drag the line to the middle, set the Y position and then highlight the ball, remember the Y position, drag it also to the middle and set the Y position. And if we play it now, we have a nice animated jumping ball. I hope you've learned something new today and if you did, I kindly ask you to support my channel with your subscription so you can learn even more next time.